1970s, there was 1.2 million elephant in Africa, and now we're down to a third of that. Pangolins, 2.7 million are killed every year. Rhinos, black and white, a total of about 25,000 left. And then lions, um, we're finding quite a few sort of lion teeth and lion claws. And there, their population in Africa is only 23,000. And then there's other, um, like uh, giraffe, and they are hunted more for their bush meat and also their bones. And there are probably about 68,000 breeding adults left in Africa. Dogs have an amazing nose and they are able to detect um, lots of different things that we know of, bombs, etc. And so we're using this dogs, um, detection dogs, to, to um, detect illegal wildlife products um, at ports and, and entry ports in different countries in Africa. We select working dogs from Europe, we bring them into Tanzania where we have a dog school there, and then we train them up to detect illegal wildlife products, and we collaborate with governments to set up canine units within their wildlife authorities. We've got over 50 dogs out there, and we're finding mostly elephant ivory and pangolin scale are the, are the biggest finds that we're making on, on a regular basis. Before our dogs started working at the airport in Maputo, probably every six weeks to two months, some rhino horn was found downstream at other airports in Johannesburg, in Nairobi, etc., that had, had passed through the airport. Since the dogs arrived there, not a single downstream find has been made. So basically, word on the street is it's not worth going there anymore.